Chairman Daniel Levy has contacted former manager Maurizio Pochettino. A report on the stadium naming rights. Will it be the Amazon Arena or the Nike Stadium or something else? Lucas Moura has urged Harry Kane to stay at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and reveals that Jose Mourinho speaks to every single Spurs player every day and Tottenham are linked with yet another right back. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Thursday the 16th of April. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news from the last 24 hours. So let's start with a report from the Daily Mail earlier today. And they are stating that Amazon are eyeing naming rights for Tottenham's new stadium with Chairman Daniel Levy aiming for a record £250 million deal. The article states that Amazon are emerging as genuine contenders to become Tottenham's main stadium sponsor. Spurs are still to secure a naming rights deal for their £1 billion stadium and the Daily Mail are understanding the globally renowned technology firm have expressed substantial interest in the potential partnership. Although any agreement is far from complete, particularly given the financial uncertainty caused by the coronavirus crisis, sources claim Amazon have now entered the equation. The article then says that Amazon already have strong links to Tottenham, having spent the season at the club filming uh, for their forthcoming behind-the-scenes documentary, All or Nothing, that should be out this summer. Um, there are, however, a number of other interested parties, including sportswear giant Nike. Chairman Daniel Levy believes he can secure up to £25 million a season over at least 10 years for the naming rights deal, which would be the most lucrative stadium agreement of its kind in history. So there you have it, a rumour, a report, whatever you want to call it, um, all on the naming rights of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Um, funny enough... I um, thought that the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium would always be called the Nike Arena or the Nike Stadium. I said this a couple of years ago when I was doing the stadium updates. It just had a ring to it. I just thought that it would have something to do with Nike. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Will it be the Amazon Arena? Will it be the Amazon Stadium? Will it be the Nike Arena, the Nike Stadium? Um, let me know your thoughts. What is the best name for this stadium? I know a lot of people still say that they refer to it as the lane, the new White Hart Lane. Um, please do let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. So today is the 16th of April and on this day in 2005, 15 years ago, Tottenham Hotspur played away at Liverpool at Anfield. The result was 2-2, but you would remember the game for that Eric Edmund goal. What a fantastic goal. Have we scored a better goal in the Premier League? Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and your favourite and the best Tottenham Hotspur goals in Premier League history. Earlier this year, Tottenham um, let go Louis Binks, an 18-year-old central defender from the youth system. Uh, very promising prospect. I'm surprised we let him go. Uh, he joined um, MLS outfit Montreal Impact, who are now managed by Thierry Henry. Louis Binks has done a short interview with the Daily Mail talking about a bust-up with Tottenham defender Jan Vertonghen, who states Jan Vertonghen didn't shake his hand for at least six months. He said, my first training session at Tottenham, I was only 16. There was a 50-50 and I went in with Jan Vertonghen. I went in hard but fair, I think. And he got up and shouted at me and said, you effing idiot. Literally 20 seconds later, the same 50-50 challenge came along. I went in full-blooded again and he rolled his ankle. He went mental. For six months, he wouldn't shake my hand. He'd just laugh and say, you're that kid who did me. 
Many happy returns today to former Tottenham player Aaron Lennon. He turns 33 today. He joined the club from Leeds in 2005. He was at the club for 10 years, leaving in 2015 for Everton. He made a total of 266 league appearances for Tottenham, scoring 26 goals. He made a total of 19 appearances in the FA Cup, scoring one goal. A total of 21 in the League Cup, scoring one. And a total of 58 in European competition, scoring twice. A total of 364 appearances for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, scoring 30 goals. Please do let me know in the comments section below your favourite moment of Aaron Lennon at Spurs. Spurs are being linked with yet another right back. Would you believe it? Um, this time, um, the Spanish press are stating that Tottenham are interested in signing Barcelona right back Emerson. He's actually on loan at the moment at Real Betis. Barcelona bought him in 2019, loaned him out for two years to Real Betis. So he's meant to be there until 2021. But Barcelona could cash in. Tottenham could buy him. Um, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I know we have been linked with a number of right backs. Max Ahrens, Thomas Mounier and now Emerson, who would you like as right back for the start of the 2020-2021 season? Tottenham striker Harry Kane keeps being linked with all of the top European sides um, and Manchester United in England. Um, and all of the press just keep going on about Harry Kane could leave for £200 million. Daniel Levy will accept £200 million, blah, blah, blah. There are so many reports out, certainly um, since he did the Instagram live video with Jamie Redknapp. Well, Lucas Moura, his teammate, has urged Harry Kane to stay at Tottenham because it would be very, very difficult difficult to replace him. Lucas Moura said the following, it's hard to speak about the future, about a negotiation, because it's a personal decision. I'm sure that every season Tottenham receive offers for Harry Kane. It's not me who has to decide, but of course I want to play with him next season. I want him to stay because he's very important for us and it's not easy to find a player like him. Mora then goes on to say, everyone knows he's a big player, he's very important for us, he's our striker and scores almost every game. Lucas Mora was then talking about Tottenham manager Jose Mourinho, who of course broke the rules um, of the lockdown by training with three players last week, uh, very um, highly criticised. Um, Mora then defended the manager, stating Mourinho, of course, cares about our fitness. He loves football. He loves training. So I think he wanted to see everyone and make sure everyone is taking care of their body shape. Lucas Moura then added that Jose Mourinho speaks to every single Tottenham Hotspur player every day, um, talking about um, whether this season will be completed. He said, I'm not sure what is best to do. If it is to play or not to play, play with the fans or without, it's a hard situation to decide. I'm not sure it's safe even to play without the fans. A report out late this evening from the Daily Mail and they are stating that Daniel Levy approaches Axe Tottenham boss Maurizio Pochettino to take cut on his £8.5 million salary to help ease club's coronavirus crisis financial worries. The article reads, Tottenham have approached Maurizio Pochettino about taking a wage reduction on his £8.5 million salary to help ease the financial concerns caused by the coronavirus crisis. The North London club have opened talks with their former manager, who is currently on gardening leave following his sacking last year, with a view to agreeing a new pay agreement. The article then goes on to say that Chairman Daniel Levy agreed to continue paying the manager's wages until he found a new job. It then states that the club is also looking to strike deals with Pochettino's backroom team, including uh, Pochettino's assistant manager, Jesus Perez, uh, goalkeeping coach, uh, Tony uh, Jimenez. And uh, they are also stating that Tottenham are locked in talks with the current playing squad and Pochettino's replacement, Jose Mourinho, about a wage reduction agreement. Thanks for watching today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. I'll see you again soon. Stay safe, stay well. Come on, you Spurs.
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.